Uh, all right, cool. Hey, hey, you already know what it is, man. Salute to King of the Dot Blackout Eight. I got none other than Legend Ill Mac, Legend Rum Nitty in the building. You know what I'm saying? They got a battle going down. A lot of people is talking about it. And you know, you guys, uh, Ill Mac. I'll start with you. You know, uh, you've been battling for quite some time. You know what I'm saying? We remember you from back in the days with the two on twos. I know you went to RBE. You battled there. You've been on pretty much all around the world. You know what I'm saying? And now you're on a blackout versus Rum Nitty, who is a fucking monster and on a run. You know what I'm saying? Like. I see Rum Nitty battling more than I see my children nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Like every time I look around, if I go to the internet, it's Rum Nitty battling. I see my kid, they run by Rum Nitty battling again. What do you do with someone that's of this caliber right now? And I know y'all got a lot of respect for each other, so we'll start there. I mean, you know, he's 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 in his bag and he's in he's in fighting shape. You know what I'm saying? But I, I might not have been in the ring for a real, you know, three round battle. Like I had Jin earlier this year at, at, mm -hmm. at the uh, Pat Stay Forever joint. And and that was fun to kind of, you know, come out and do that. But it's a little bit more of an exhibition. And my last battle before that hasn't been since A Ward in 2019. Oh um, but I always have one foot in and I'm always watching whether I'm, um, you know, watching battles on watch and keeping up, you know, with everything he's doing and everything going on but also writing cartoons and and keeping the pen sharp on on wax and in the cartoons with the bars. So I always feel like I'm never not tuned in, you know? So really it's just the same thing. It's the same thing, getting into the ring. Okay, and so after uh, four years off, so you got Rum Nitty. What makes you take a battle like Ilmac? You got a busy schedule, you know what I'm saying? He's one of the best writers up to, of all time. He's up there with Day, with Lux, with all of the pens if it counts. What makes you take somebody like him right now? Because he can beat you. Um, the, uh, just like what you said right there. I, mm -hmm. I, I like a challenge. You know what I'm saying? I'm still a, a student of the game. I still want to get a fans classics. You feel me? And you know, like I said, I'm a competitor. So mm -hmm. he's one of them big dogs out here. So why not? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't dust smoke. Right. I'm not loaded lux. <laughs> well, since you went there, uh, this is a question for Ill Mac. Uh, do you think that? Rum is looking past you with all this loaded Lux talk going on right now. I got him. Uh, I mean, I hope not. I don't think that's the case. I think I think he knows that would be a grave mistake. Um, I, I get it though. You need to load up the next the next battle, but we've we've seen the situation play out. I mean, I battled jc when the hype was all around him i was there, battling dude, I, was there. Lux. I was there i was there i was there I was the there. hype died down and immediately after that you know top deaded it all so mm -hmm. we just don't want to see that happen again so because so so fo by focusing on lux and not putting the focus on me you might put that match up in jeopardy period this weekend but i don't know if you but now let me ask nitty are you looking past him i don't think you are i ain't never look past nobody I think mm. my, my track record shows that. You feel me? I mm. think my track record shows that. Okay, okay. Have I took losses? Hell yeah. But, like, do I bullshit? Nah. Right. I got Nitty don't come in bullshit. Well, we don't really know you, you know what I'm saying, for bullshitting or really losing a lot of battles like that. You know what I'm saying? And if they ever are, I think your record on URL is like 23 and 3. or something crazy. It's unbelievable. You know what I'm saying? And then we know your accomplishment, winning champion of the year last year. Uh, To some, you might be doing more this year than you was last year. I don't know. It's just like uh, uh, the same mind for uh, uh, the mindset I had last year. I'm just gonna put my feet, my feet to the ground, work, and we'll we'll talk about that at the end of the year. Like mm -hmm. I don't even focus on none of that. I just put my feet to the ground and work. Yo, Mac, how how important is this battle for the culture? I think that I think this could be. You know, the word classic is thrown out around a lot. I think um just for a really good battle mm -hmm. but i do think that this has the the potential to to be a classic and to be something that that stands the historical test of time if we go if we both go in there and perform at our full potential and mm -hmm. I, at the level that our pins are capable of moving i mean there's not i don't think there's going to be very many battles that could stand next to it in terms of just the raw material of that that's that's I think that's pretty, pretty well accepted, you know? 
Okay, well, uh, let's talk about the time limits. How long are your time limits for the battle? Because you know that they say that some of the off battles, they'd be like, you know, they'll be like 90 seconds or one thirty. So I've heard the times, but I want to hear from y'all. Yo, the alien knows, man, time is a construct. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It don't exist. It's relative. Right. <laughs> right nine right. minutes if you want. Sorry, I was getting cut off. <laughs> Oh, uh, right, look, I'm not going to come out there and rap nine minutes. I'm not. Uh, I also know I know that that does, that rarely works for any in anyone's favor. Mm -hmm. So this is a question for Rum Nitty. All right. You went to Toronto before you was an up and comer when you first went there and you kind of established yourself. You know what I'm saying? You had the Arsenal battles, the B Magic joints. You was establishing your name and then you had the uh, one of the best battles I've probably ever seen was you versus Danny Myers. You know what I'm saying? uh i still remember that battle to this day i still probably remember some of the words to it and seeing y'all at that level you know when you was establishing your name now you're here as rum nitty uh how does it feel you're going back there as a headliner versus a legend like Ilman? i might even go a lot the first time i went to toronto they treated me like i was who i am now i'm not gonna lie like <laughs> the toronto fans is like they the dopest some of the dopest fans so mm -hmm. i don't know i'm just I don't, like I said, I don't really, I don't focus on none of that. You know what I'm saying? I just want to get a fans a classic, you know what I'm saying? Keep my brand at a high level and, and do what I know I can do. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I don't really look into all that. Okay. I feel like that and might sidetrack me, you feel me? And, and this is like rare era because you never see really Ill Mac doing any interviews and things like that. We never really see Nitty doing them either. Nitty just shows up, smokes people, and keeps it going, right? So, yeah. the MC... Because, like, like you said, this, this is one of the ones for the culture, though. You know what I'm saying? I would be mm -hmm. a fool not to to get behind this one and promote it and you know what I'm saying uh talk my shit on the interviews I got respect for Rose you feel mm -hmm. me and I feel like he said we finna have we finna have a real classic you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. I feel like if I had this mind frame going into the uh, Iron Solomon battle mm -hmm. it, it probably could have been uh, could have been better I low key slept on Iron you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. oh, on paper, I didn't okay, think yeah. it was you know what I'm saying so now I have like in my mind, I'm like, this is this can be one of those. You feel mm -hmm. me? So I'm writing like that. Like, you feel me? For real. Yeah, Iron, that was a really good battle with Iron Solomon. You know what I mean? Like he went Yeah, crazy. but I feel like it was a one of those, like, oh, we didn't know we needed those. We didn't know we needed this type battle type shit until it happened. Right, and, right, and right, 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 right. The same way. I low key felt the same way until it as it was happening. When he was rapping his shit, I'm like, well, that's kind of crazy. He's tripping, like you feel me. I'm not gonna lie. So I feel like okay. we have the potential to do the same thing with this battle. So I don't want to fumble that. Right, right, right. And I know, and like I said, it's a lot of respect amongst you each other. You know what I'm saying? And I see that you're actually putting in the work to battle somebody of this caliber because you know what Ill Mac can do. Um, Ill Mac, let me ask you. Without you know revealing anything, like how do you approach this battle? Like when do you did you start writing a long time ago, or are you like I'm gonna get him this week? Like you know what I'm saying? What's your process like Not, without revealing anything? All antics. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, he can't stand next to that. You know, <laughs> he he came out with the alien costume. I got a bigger one. I'm coming oh. out in a bigger alien, co and then you could <laughs> take that off, and it's another alien underneath. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. spoiler alert. Mm -hmm. Uh, nah. <laughs> Every I said this before, but every every opponent is is a for me the way I look at it is a Rubik's cube, mm -hmm. and I don't always solve the Rubik's cube, you know. But on any given day, anybody can get anybody, and it's all about just finding where your style matches with that person in the right combination, and and attacks in mm -hmm. order to beat that. You you can't rum is rum, and rum is gonna get. He's going to get pops. He's going to get his reactions. I can't take that away. There ain't nothing I can do first round to come in that's just going to stop all that. So I have to know that. I have to know that going in and, and, and structure everything accordingly, knowing, okay, what are his strengths and how do I match up against that? So that's the case with every battle. I look at the skill sets involved and, and how, how I can best bring it to my, my battlefield, you know? uh, -uh. Oh, okay, okay. So with a rum nitty, you already know that the punches is coming. Is this a is this a battle that counter writing goes into it, or you just approach it from your style and deal with it how you deal with it? Um, yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna have diagrams of all all the punches he got away with. You know, <laughs> all the things that don't make sense. I'm a I'm gonna have a whole uh, PowerPoint presentation about that. You know. 
<laughs> so so that, that that'll be that'll be fun right right all right so uh there's a lot of fans out there uh i did put up a poll i will tell you i i had just basically asked you know what i'm saying just so i could get kind of a, a a base point of where we at and how fans are kind of like feeling as far as uh a potential winner of this battle they got rome nitty up 78 to 22 how you feel about that it's an ill mac coming in for the kitchen sink they got it they got you down 78 to 22 my <laughs> I seen I seen a poll with a lot more, and it was it was a little different. But look, mm -hmm. that's fine mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, you know, the way I look at it is this: mm -hmm. I'm my spot where I'm at is solidified. Like there's no this battle doesn't doesn't move that. Do mm -hmm. I want to come in and have a classic? Of course, but where the pressure is, the pressure is on Rum. Mm -hmm. He's, you know, he's there. He's the one that fans want, you know, are, are putting the hat in the ring for champion of the year, the Lux match, all these things. So the pressure's on that. I can come in and take risks. I can do whatever, because if I lose what I'm, I'm fine. I'm going back. It's not going to affect anything of mine that I have lined up or my trajectory, but, but that's not the case in reverse. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So I have a little bit more freedom. I think that's all opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I understand hear. what you're saying. No, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that it, you if you come in and you know get cleared, that does affect you. I think more than the other way around. And I've always there's been a ton of battles I go in, and I'm I'm not mad, and I'm used to being underrated. You know, mm -hmm. um, even even the you know I, I get a lot of love. I, I I'm not I'm not jaded about that, but I'm used to sort of playing from that position mm -hmm. and catching people slipping. Mm. So, Rum, what do you say about that when it's like you have everything? I don't feel like you have everything to lose, and he has little. I, he has a lot to lose in regards to this, too. But how do you feel? Um, like I said, I don't, I don't, I don't feel like I have any extra pressure on me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't because I, I don't chase champion. I'm not chasing Lux. You feel me? My my spot is solidified as well. You feel me? So I don't feel like I have any extra pressure. The pressure I, I have on this battle is the pressure I have every battle. It's to just be nitty, perform at a high level, bring them punches. Bring so, this question, so this question came in and said, Rum, are you taking too many battles to be able to step with Max seriously? If you if you slip, he could clear you. How you feel about that? Man, I've been doing this too many years to ask me that question. Man. I mean, I, I, right here, you know what I'm saying? We, we ask the questions that are uh, that are definitely brought to us. So it says, uh, what does this battle mean to both of y'all? Because it's one of the last pen clashes. Because the thing is, you guys both have crazy pens. Nowadays, battle rap be a lot about the antics, be a lot about everything. I seen somebody kiss somebody in a battle recently, so it'd be about everything except the actual raps. How do y'all feel with knowing uh, somebody that? already did that? <laughs> Damn, I don't think this would have been. <laughs> I, I need a new ending to my third. Oh my! <laughs> I didn't. Even, I didn't even see that. What yes. happened? <laughs> You see the dude kiss the chick in the battle the other day? Like it was like a male. You oh, there. I did see that clip. I did see on that. It was uh, My man, the chick had grabbed my man by the private, and then he kissed. Oh, uh, I was there. I was yeah, there. Yeah, was there. I was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, I'm talking about Ilmac. The fuck was in your third, nigga. Oh, I, 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 I skipped right past. That. Hey, I said I'm bringing the antics, man. You never know. I'm yeah, saying I got man, nothing to I'm lose. Punch your ass, dog. A real live punch. You see, how I just, you see how I just went right past? You hit me with a double yeah. entendre punch in the face. That's crazy. Hey, man. Which one? Of all right. So, which one of y'all told him, man? <laughs> Let's get to the dumb shit. Ah, uh, man. Me, gang. You said, what, what was the question? Which one of y'all? said, which one taller me? Man, we gonna see. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna what, see. You, what you call Pat, little homie? <laughs> um, uh, how was the the process of getting this battle book? I'll start with Rum Nitty because I know you got, like I said, you battling. You got so much shit going on. How was the process? Was it easy? You know what I'm saying? Did they just come with you? Like how? Like how did a name like Ilmac get presented to you? And I'm gonna ask the question. Um, uh, accepting a name like Ilmac, easy. Um. Mm -hmm. King of the Dot, they, of course, they pay well. I'm not even going to talk about the pay. That, that mm -hmm. was easy to accept. The, the the most difficult part was, you know, getting my passport in order and all that shit. I ain't going to lie. I just literally got that shit yesterday. <laughs> Outside of that, it wasn't, it wasn't no difficult. It I just no picked difficult. mine up today. I just oh, picked yeah. it up today. That's why yeah. That's why I couldn't do the, this this earlier. 
Right. And I'm the only one with the passport, and I ain't going. It was like, I should sit right there. But you know what, Ilmet, we're going to make sure that we work that out for the next joint. Um, So it says it's here's that God tier pace, the God tier <laughs> commentator pay scale, man. You know, you know, you know. Um, Right, right, right. So I got another one for um for Rum Nitty. You know what I'm saying? Um, Is this pace that you guys, that you're battling that, is this where you're going to go for the rest of the year, or are you going to slow down ever, or no? Uh, shit, I ain't gonna lie. I can't tell you, brother. I can't even tell you, man. Yeah, Whatever yeah. presents itself that makes sense, and yeah. I feel like, uh, and I feel I can still, um, perform at a high level without putting myself in jeopardy. Then yeah, mm-hmm. you know I'm saying once I feel that I'm a, uh, that I'm putting myself in jeopardy by you know taking so many battles and you know what I'm saying tarnishing my brand, then I'm gonna sit my ass down. Of course, just like anybody mm-hmm. should. Because mm-hmm. yeah, you do have a battle. Like, what is that? Like two weeks after was it the case? But I'm sure that you. are I'm sure you. I just had Ace in in Jazz. You had Jazz. You had Ace. You had Ace. But well, you did Jazz. take what two, like three weeks off after the Jazz for this. Yeah, oh. yeah. Took so a little get, break. So you getting a full, you getting a full clip, man. The three thirties, man. You ain't getting, you ain't getting. Man, I ain't even done right. <laughs> man, you battling three days? What you mean? And I had to give a passport and shit, man. I do this though. Don't worry about me. I do this. He said, "Oh, he said you got him." He said, "Don't worry." About him. He said, "When yeah, they, when they when they when they say battle on my left, you good." He'll be finishing this like, third. No, you ready? Nah, nah, I'm not ready. But when it, yeah, when they, yeah, they give me two minutes. Left, All right, right, I'm ready. Now, Ill, yeah, if they say battle on the left, it's on you. I'll be ready. Now, Ill, are you still in your process, or how far are you along? I mean, you know, we I mean, people always go back, look, edit, revise. I mean. Yeah, I mean, I, I finished my second like yesterday or something, and and that's late for me. I like I like time to sit with it and get comfortable. Um, but but I'm confident. I'm putting I'm my whole uh, regimen right now is is in a healthy place for for preparation all the way around and in in life and and in this battle rap shit right now. I feel like I'm in a really good place. So. You know, I'm I'm high. I'm that battling. Means that means like, a lot. Yeah, and like I'm so battling three, like two, two, no, three weeks uh, after as well. I'm battling in Australia. I'm going out there doing a handful of shows, battling Vega out there. And you talk about the money on commentary. You all the way in Australia. Oh my God, that's good, man. Congratulations for that. <laughs> good luck. Um, you know, I want to talk to you guys real quick about uh past day's legacy. You know what I'm saying? I know you battled him on our uh, World Domination Five. You know what I'm saying? And obviously, rest in peace to him. Uh, how much does preserving and keeping his legacy alive mean to both of y'all? I'll start with uh, Ilmac, and then um, I'll get to Nitty. Man, I think uh, it would, you know, goes without saying how much of an impact and and how much of a loss Pat, you know, losing Pat was for for the culture and you know, King of the Dot in Toronto and everything. So it's special to be able to go out there and, and honor. <laughs> And honor his his name and his legacy, and to be able to, you know, slap hands and and hug his family and friends, and and to get shown love from that, like at the at the you know Pat event, and I know you know folks coming out to this one, like that that means you know more than even a battle win, and and to just to see that side of it and how battle rap came together, even in his name, is is so big. So honoring that legacy is important to me. I mean, I got this full tatted on my leg as a centaur with you are not a man next to it you know what i'm saying just because i'm like i'm gonna troll you yeah, still yeah. like that that's 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 my dog man and um so it means a lot it means everything to go out there and honor that mm-hmm. and, uh, to nitty <clears throat> um the, uh the, it's basically the same shit i'm not gonna lie to piggyback off what he said it means mm-hmm. a lot i feel i'm not gonna lie i feel honored to be somebody that that looked at as a representation of not just Pat, but just the culture. And right. I feel like us us standing together shows a lot on, mm-hmm. on how or what type of culture we are. You feel me? We talk crazy to each other, we disrespect each other, but it's all love at the end of the day. So mm-hmm. so being able to represent Pat and his family and shit at, at, uh, at a time like this, it shows what type of culture we have. You feel me? It really shows our true colors. Yeah, we really colleagues, we really family at the end of the day. End of the day. I done knew some of these niggas for 10 years. I got right. genuine love for a lot of these people. You feel me? Yeah. So, so it I think funny. that shows a lot. Yeah, you're right. Because it was funny when when they was putting this together, I was hollering at uh, you know, at, at Nino, right? He was like, "Yeah, 
you know, we got Nitty, we got ill. He's like, Do you have any problems with him? I'm like, bro, I don't know these people for five, ten years. I don't have no yeah, problem like, with family at the end of the day. I might not see him every day, but the love is there, and I cover y'all stuff all the time, so I see what you're doing. Um, uh, so all right, let's, let's I remember the first time we talked outside the venue at the RBE joint, right after uh, yeah, uh the JC joint on the stairs and shit. Like yeah, right know. there. And I was yeah. telling him, I remember when Nitty flew in to uh I forgot what airport it was. And I had came and seen him. He came from the airport. So I've seen you guys yeah, for thanks. a minute. So you guys have leveled up a, a lot. Obviously, Ill is a legend and Nitty is a legend in his own right. What is the key to win this battle for you, Ill Man? Let's just start there. I will do that. The key, the one thing that you key to win this. I think, I think the key to winning this is the same key that has been for me across my whole career and when i do it to the best of my ability i i I don't lose and that's be me Mm -hmm. be me Mm -hmm. you know what i mean um that is that is above all else what not only you know is my brand but is my biggest strength in this culture is is my unique perspective and you know who i am and the fans can see that and so that ultimately at the end of the day if i go in and i execute and be me to the best of my ability i i really don't you know i really don't think there's many people on this planet that can stand across from me in this ring <laughs> now Rob Nitty, how you feel about that because you know you somebody that went over there i remember you had tycoon tax you had big k you had Arsenal, you had BMAC. I don't know how I remember all this shit, but whatever. Um, how you you don't went over there, you don't had some wars before. What does what he's saying right now? I know you know you're gonna do run this, so it really don't even matter. But what do you feel like is the key one thing for you to just continue the same consist, or what do you feel like it's like for you for you to win? Uh I don't know if I have just one key, but I I would I would feel I would say don't fall in the trap. You know, mm-hmm. feel me? Don't fall in the trap. He's a great counter writer. You feel me? I could. You know, mm-hmm. what I'm saying you can follow some traps for the motherfucker like Jay. Don't yeah, fall in the trap. Just, you know, stick to my game plan. Keep my, you know, my high energy and punch his motherfucking head off. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah. See, because because he punches at a high level. Ill Mac can punch. He, he got great metaphors. Yeah, Mac can punch. He can really do all that. Mm-hmm. And he can counter and he can freestyle. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I will say this. And that's the best that's to be. That'd be dangerous when you write mother write against motherfuckers that can freestyle like certain bar certain just references he might be able to flip on spot you feel me some of that shit could be dangerous i ain't gonna lie so i do have a lot of that and i've taken a lot of that into consideration as i'm right 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 so when it comes to you like like i said you've been battling like pretty frequently recently do you ever get to a point where you had a log jam when you got like two days left and two rounds to write? like how do you how, like that's the one question i do have like you know what i'm saying like how do you Power yeah, through is. that type of shit, like, and then remember it too. Trust your talent. Trust your talent. Trust your talent. You know when they say uh, a fighter goes out and he has a game plan and then he gets hit and he forgets it. Mm-hmm. Go uh, back to uh, go back to what you know. Fight. Right, right, right. I'm gonna you be know? honest with you. I think Ill Mac is probably one of the toughest battles of the year. Regardless, I know what you've done. I seen you with the B's and C's, B's and C. That shit was crazy. But I feel like with the amount and the level of where Ill Mac can write, I do feel like, how do you feel in correspondence to that? Do you feel like this is one of your toughest battles of the year? I do. That's yeah, definitely. Me. Definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ill, how do you feel? I mean, this is the only battle of the year. <laughs> how do you feel on as far as how difficult it may be? I think that overall, I, I think that I, I match up pretty well against punchers. I got caught slipping really early on <laughs> with conceded. I didn't even know name flips existed in that way. That was sort of laying the groundwork for, you know, even where where a lot of punches come from today. So mm-hmm. I said this before. I'm like, I feel like I died. So, you know what I mean? Like, I died for your schemes. I died mm-hmm. for Diddy's name flips. You know what I mean? Like, to lay the groundwork. My blood is part of the mortar of that road that he walks on. You know what I mean? But in general, since then, I learned. And I, and I adjust. And I do think, you know, we know what Nitty's going to do. Like, mm-hmm. and and 
that's fine. But just like you, just like he said, and I said this before, you can go into it with a plan, but you still have to sit there and take it. You yeah. have to stand in front of it and be able to just take those punches and then rap. And mm-hmm. so I'm going into it knowing I'm going to have to stand there. And especially that first round, like oh my I'm telling God. you right now, in Toronto, seeing, you know, star nitty superstar nitty no let mm. up nitty the alien in toronto right now everything's gonna land mm. and i have to sit there you know what i mean and i have to just know that first round that's gonna happen yeah you already but, know you know yeah, you round two know. round three that might be a little bit of a different story when, when so, nitty, nitty come nitty come straight out the gate on your ass and say uh Pistol left it in the states. I couldn't tote it. I should have wrote it. I opened the <laughs> Mac. Now I'm fully loaded. Hey, he go fuck it. He go bomb on you. Already know it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> Nitty shaking his head like out the gate. Out the gate. You already know. After Mac, I'm fully loaded. You already know it's coming. So I just gave him his first line. He uses it. Cool. But anyway, moving along. Uh, Nitty, uh, you are currently regarded to many as the best battle rapper in the world. You know what I'm saying? You won the belt last year. And you're still ranked pretty high. When we did the Fox Five list, I think you were, were don't make me disrespect you. Number three or four, you was up there. Let's just say it like that. You were high, right? Do you feel like with a battle like Ilmac and whatever else you do for the rest of the year, you could eclipse everyone and go back to back in all leagues and all, you know what I'm saying? Or that's not a thought process that you have. Uh no, nah, it's not a thought process that I have. I'm a I'm a I'm a sit back at the end of the year and you know. Do what everybody else does, you know, be a fan and see what the numbers is looking like and see what I, you know, but right now my feet to the ground, I'm working. Mm. Shit, I'll I'll tell you like, and, and that, and that's me looking past Ilmac. I don't do that. I don't look past yeah, nobody. Yeah. Shit, I, I, I'll I, tell I, you I got, this. A, I got a war. I got a war coming. You yeah, feel well, me? I'm, I'm worried about that. And then we'll talk about that afterwards. I got you. What'd you say? Yeah, I'll tell you this. If he stands in front of, uh, of these rounds and, and let's just say if he thirties me, mm. give him the belt. Just give it to him. Give, give it to him. him. Just give him give the belt. Him. If he stands in front of these three rounds and he wins and he wins three rounds, he's got my vote. That's mm. all I'm going to say. I mean, well, he said he's got his work. He said, well, then he, he already know what it is then. He, he sees yeah. the he, he sees the path. But um, I, I'm curious, like, I'm curious, like, from, like, do you, because I've seen certain battles where, I see you kind of go off script a little bit and go beyond the punches a little bit. And I think sometimes maybe it's not always even as well received as it should or could be because of what I think what people expect and kind of like a cadence of of payoff that you've established. Do you feel trapped (laughs) sometimes like or pigeonholed as a puncher? Like, do you feel like maybe sometimes you want to get out of this certain bag but if you do there's too much risk like how, does that does that I, go I don't into- feel like it's too much risk but I I, I do at uh, some point I'll be like they don't want nothing else from me they mm-hmm. don't want to hear nothing else from me so I just feel like I just have to find a comfortable medium to where I can just give it to them pause but like little by little you feel me and the reason why I was gonna say that I remember one battle in particular where he kind of went like not in that path was Tay Rock, you know what I'm saying? And that was a battle that many felt like he could have walked with, you know what I'm saying? When he takes an angle, he does something beyond what the fans know him for. It's like, what are we doing? Because, and me, I'm a fan, you know what I'm saying? I don't rap, I don't right, battle. Right, right, right. I'm expecting you're going to take so many punches and get off the ropes, and I'm expecting him to just go from there with the patterns of flows to, to blow my mind away because I've seen him battle a 100 times, but he f- continually finds a way to reinvigorate our minds with these punches because we know what we're going to get, but we don't know how we're going to get it. You know what I'm saying? So some of the lines like that one, oh my God. And then, you know, people try to give him flag for it, but I didn't that I control the power and the volume, like a screenshot. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, I thought that was fire. I thought I'm, was I'm a stickler. Like I'm like, I'll be like, but nah, that was fire. <laughs> you I, but but I, I see that. And you got that coming though. You got that. <laughs> I don't got I, that coming. Got I think that. in this battle, like, I think this battle is a good opportunity and I want to, I want to be a conduit. I want to help free you. I want to help free you from that. <laughs> like I want to help. I'm going to help. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> it's either the opportunity to, to go outside that bag for me, you know, in your preparation or a moment of reflection after to be like, okay, maybe I should. All right. So, you know? so, so this is why, I, this is the reason why I want to battle certain 
uh, uh, caliber battle battlers. Mm -hmm. It's right. for that exact reason. I know if I battle a nigga like Ill Mac or a nigga like Loaded, nigga like Daylight, I'm gonna have to step outside the punches for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, up the pin, or you know, what I'm saying up the the angling, it's just just shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And it opens the fans' ears to me. Yeah, to, you know what I'm saying? To, you know what I'm saying? To try something different. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, because I, I I I'm a, like even just from a fan's perspective, I want to see you get outside of that outside of that box, and I do think sometimes it's like I feel almost the 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 angst behind feeling like when you might feel pigeonholed i can kind of as a writer i feel like there's moments where i can almost sense it and you know on some real shit, i feel like when you look at the best rounds of all time when you just think first three whatever whether that's verb hitman uh uh you know hollow clips first round um name whatever examples this it, it's not never punch heavy rounds when you think of when people say God's here or the top guys ever, when you think of Lux, Mook, when you think of Verb, when you think of Sir, it's never punchers. It's people who go yeah. beyond I that. Think that's to why, I think that's what makes my, my journey so special, gang. Because mm -hmm. I'm up there with a lot of them names that you name, and I don't do nothing but punch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I don't promote, I don't talk, I don't do nothing. But, but I'm bro, still I'm up, there with, all get I'm still up there with all them names you just named, I'm still up there. So I, I think that's it. what makes my, my journey that special. It, I, it, it, it almost, it almost, Let's people know that just rapping done. still works. It can just be done. being just straight rapping does still work. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have antics. You don't have to have Promotion. a crazy performance. You don't have to have a crazy backstory. You don't even have to tell your backstory if you don't want. Just go rap. And that's the truth because I only get nitty online like maybe once a year. You know what I'm saying? We don't do this. So I don't do interviews that much at all. But if I ever do, it's usually nitty or somebody like that because I it's it's usually the people that rarely speak. So to exactly. get in here is dope and to have Ilmac here because Ilmac is actually the one who thought of this and I was like yo it'd be so dope so uh because really we're gonna be letting y'all go in a few minutes uh who wins that's what I want who wins man what are we doing the culture wins I win Mac win shit we I'm gonna let the fans choose of course mm -hmm. I'm gonna feel like I win I love my shit I love these bars I'm pretty sure he loves his material mm. what you think man yeah I think I, I think that I'm not going to go out there and and convince every you know fan of of Rum Nitty and what he when does. When you're that, that solidified, like when you're solidified like how we both are, it's damn near not a loser. You know what I'm saying? You're going to you're going to uh um Come your fans are going to be satisfied, my fans are going to be satisfied. If I do what I'm supposed to do and you do what you're supposed to do 100%. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That'd be great. All right, so the final question I got for y'all which one of y'all battles in particular, regardless of when it may have been during your writing process or during your actual, like when you came up with the rounds, what is a battle that you had that you like, there's no way I'm losing? Regardless of the MC. A battle that we had that, that I said that, that I going said, there's no the way battle. I'm losing? Like, yeah, when you're going into the battle, like these rounds, I know I'm not losing. Oh, okay, that's what you're saying. A Ward. <laughs> yeah, that was a win. <laughs> I was like, there's no, he's like, I'm before not I wrote a bar, I said, I looked in the mirror and said, there's no way I'm losing to this man. <laughs> so let alone when I was right. done writing. Right, right. Okay. You know what I mean? And it was that thing, it, it, you know, and I, I told him this, the, like, you know, we, we, we texted, like, he it made the mistake of giving me more time because we were supposed to battle in April. It kind of fell through. And then we ended up battling later that year. And then, you know, I think th there was a similar case with him, him and Kay. With the certain people, you don't want to do that. But I knew by the time I was done before that second battle, mm -hmm. I was like, there's no way. And hey, what about Nitty? What's a battle? I know you got, <laughs> you probably got a couple, but just one. I, I got a surprise. <laughs> JC. <laughs> really? <laughs> you thought she was. <laughs> what I got my ass with. <laughs> I was there. I seen that. I was there. Man, I thought I was gonna kill Cuz. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> he clipped you up then. <laughs> By the third, I said, "What's up, man? What a nigga nitty? That's the joint. No, that's not the one I got you in the airport. Uh, I got you yeah. the people there. They clipped you up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got you. Right yeah. now. But I would say yeah. probably uh my K Sean rounds, even though I had to slip up in the third, but in my K Sean rounds, I was oh yeah, yeah. that was some that was some lethal material. So uh is there any other battles on the card that you're looking forward to? I mean, you can't say like name the battle, but like battlers that you guys are looking forward to. I mean, obviously you got Gotti with the team. whole card, man. Mm -hmm. mm, whole, the card. whole card. I ain't gonna lie, Jada Nightwing, one of my favorite battlers to watch. 
He's there. I didn't even know. Me he's too. There. Yeah, yeah, I didn't even know he was on it. Jaden Nightwing is, is, is yeah, there. bro. Geechee, Hollahan, you got Jay on there. You got Holland, Big K. Lie. He he battling my brother, but I'm hyped to see Hollahan. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, that's a legend. Well, Real know, sick, a war, yeah, bro. The, the card is crazy, and the the unique thing and the experience about Blackout, and I know Nitty knows because he was on. Um, you've been on a Blackout before. Uh, it's just there's electricity in the room when when it's the matchups are revealed. You know, like yeah, that's like yeah, a room I was just shaker. Talking about this shit, I literally was just talking about that shit. It's a yeah, room it's the when crowd name, goes crazy. That's what tripped me out because I'm when, when my name got called and I'm like. These fans don't know who I am. They went crazy. I'm like, uh, what? We know y'all. We know y'all. We know y'all. We know all y'all. That was crazy to me. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Man, shout um, out Toronto, man. I'm I'm hyped to be back at, uh, at motherfucking T dot. Wow, man. Uh, last pitch to the fans, man. Why do Why do the fans want to see a battle like this and blackout? You know what I'm saying? Like in general, you know what I'm saying? We got we got we got to make some sales at the end. You know what I'm saying? The pay per view. We gonna Unbiased put- crowd, crazy mm-hmm. energy. You feel me? Like. Where else you wanted that? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They going they gonna show love when you when it's due. And mm-hmm. if you whack, they you know what I'm saying, they gonna they gonna keep it real. Yeah, it's one of the best crowds I just stood in front of. I'm That's like, and I, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I've been doing this shit for a minute. Right. Uh El Mac. And Canadian beer. <laughs> and the weed too. You know, I get you know they got some stuff out there. Toronto got some bomb ass food too. For okay. me, you know, I like I'll just put it this way. The 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 live feeling of experiencing it live on paper, whether it's in the building or pay-per-view and seeing those matchups that you didn't realize were going to happen and all that adds a whole nother layer of, of electricity in, in the live experience watching it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, even like what I, how I answered that last question, I think I might like this material better than what I have for a word. So oh, Nitty, you out of here, baby. It was been good knowing you. <laughs> 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 He said he like this material better. When Take I, that for what it is, you know. Instead of going to bed at three in the morning, Nitty gonna go at seven. He got three extra hours, four extra hours for you tonight. <laughs> so he gonna get his, <laughs> he oh, yeah, man. I'm a, I ain't gonna lie. I'm up working anyway. <laughs> well, fellas, thanks a lot. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure the fans will like to see this. You know what I'm saying? Because you guys are two MCs that they really don't hear much from. Um, they're gonna be shocked that I even got both of y'all on the same call. I'm be honest with you. Um, but we truly appreciate it. I'm sure King of the Dot will. Uh, shout out to Gully, Lush, Organic, everybody from over there. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you guys, you know, it, it should be one for the ages, man. We, we definitely going to be watching. Three minute and 30 second rounds. KOTD.TV. Uh, shout out to my man, Rum Nitty. Shout out to my brother, Hill Mac, man. We'll see y'all soon, man. Appreciate it. Right. Thanks a lot. All right, we out.